system's up and running. We've got throw, flow through this zone and this zone. And you see our differential pressure. Roughly we're at 14 pounds right here. And we're at uh, roughly 8 pounds here. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to show a change in system pressure. By, uh, number one, we're going to balance these zones out. Okay. On this end zone here with our standard control valve, Paul, can you throttle that valve, that balance valve? That's a manual balance valve Paul is going to throttle. Here, our pressure independent control valve, it's set for 3 GPM. So no matter what else goes on in the system, this is only going to allow 3 GPM through this zone. Okay. Now with the temperature rising outside, we don't need as much heating. We're going to send a signal to our control valve that this zone only needs, let's say, one gallon a minute. So as I turn this control valve, as you see here, our flow is at 1 GPM. All right. So now it's starting to become later at night. We're going to need some heat. So I'm going to simulate a pressure increase by ramping up this variable speed pump. And what you're going to see here is that this pressure independent valve, if, if no signal tells this valve to change its position, even though I'm going to ramp the RPM up and force more water through these other zones, you're going to see this is going to stay at 1 GPM. So as I ramp this up, I want you to zoom in on that and watch. I'm going to ramp this up, okay? As you see, my, my discharge pressure is going up, but my flow is staying at 1 GPM. It's going up. See that? So now I'm up around 28 pounds. That stayed at one gallon per minute. All right. So now I'm going to ramp this back down. And as you notice, as I ramp it down, it still stays at one GPM. This cartridge in this pressure independent valve is maintaining and holding that one gallon per minute. Now, as I, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to ramp, I'm going to ramp the system volume flow up, indicating what's going to happen. It's going to indicate a pressure change here. And on a manual balance valve, if you look at this, watch what happens with this, this uh, flow meter. So as I start to ramp that up, it pegs that flow meter right out. We've got no control, or no balance, I should say.